Hey what is up guys it is me Flavio here back with another Mafia City video and in this video I'm going to be giving you a few tips to do better at the slammer. So let's get started. First let me explain how the slammer works. So the slammer has a total of 70 floors and players are required to clear as many floors as they can using any formation they like. Players can usually directly continue from the floor they lost by wiping out the slammer using energy. However, this can only be done during the week. Once the new week starts on Monday, the highest floor of all players is cleared and they're required to start from scratch. There are daily and weekly rewards in the slammer. The daily rewards include experience, roses, items, and stars, while the weekly ones include jewelry boxes as well. You get weekly rewards for clearing each floor for the first time and also for clearing a set of 5 floors for the first time. So for instance, after clearing floor 1 for the first time during the week, you will be rewarded with jewelry boxes for clearing that floor. When you clear floor 5 for the first time, you'll not only be rewarded with jewelry boxes for clearing the floor, but you'll also get some extra jewelry boxes for clearing 5 floors. Clearing the same floor for the second time during the week, however, will most likely not give you any jewelry boxes. Also, for every 3 levels you clear, you get an option to spend gold and stars to gain some extra buffs for a few floors. I'm not really a fan of this option as the extra buffs usually only help you clear one or two more floors. However, if you like this option, you can spend your gold and stars to get important buffs like bulker defense, bulker health, biker attack, biker charge damage, and bulker damage reduction. The formation buffs and equipment of a player need to be selected right before entering the slammer. This means that once you enter the slammer with a specific formation, you cannot change it. You also won't be able to change your equipment or use your buffs after entering the slammer. On entering any floor of the slammer, you're given an option to fight one of three enemies. There's the easy enemy, which is the weakest enemy on that floor, the normal enemy, which is slightly stronger than the easy one, and the hard enemy, which is the strongest enemy of that floor. Winning a battle against the hard enemy gives you the most jewelry boxes, while beating the easy enemy gives you the least jewelry boxes for that floor. The enemies keep getting stronger as you make progress and they also give you more rewards at higher levels. During each battle at the slammer, your troops get injured and are sent to the slammer hospital. The slammer hospital is a special type of hospital where your healing speed is greatly increased. The healing speed in the slammer stays the same regardless of your equipment. Also, only around 87.5% of your troops injured in each battle can be healed. This causes your march size to decrease slightly every floor. I suggest healing your injured troops almost every floor at least after you start losing 10,000 or more troops per battle. Doing this will allow you to defend better in each battle and reduce your losses. For troop formation, I use the same formation that I use in the tournament with mostly tankers, combatters, and riders from all tiers along with bait troops. I suggest adding a few more tankers than what you usually do in the tournament as you keep losing a lot of tankers each battle and you might eventually not be able to heal any of your tankers because of the healing restriction in the slammer. While clearing the slammer, it is important to keep in mind that it is more like a weekly event than a daily one because you only get jewelry boxes for clearing floors there once a week. So the strategy you use to clear the slammer should be a strategy where you try to maximize the number of jewelry boxes instead of trying to maximize the number of floors you can clear. Here's my strategy for the slammer. I usually don't use buffs for the slammer unless they're activated already for other events. As I said earlier, buffs may only get you one or two floors ahead in the slammer as the troops there get strong very quickly. On the first day, I enter the slammer with my tournament formation and only attack hard opponents. Doing so allows me to maximize my floor rewards and it also allows me to maximize the special rewards I get for every 5 floors. After I lose on the first day, I'll wait for the next day to re-enter the slammer. The next day I start with a wipeout using my energy so that I can directly start at the floor I stopped at the last time with a full march. Again, I'll only attack hard enemies to maximize rewards and also heal my troops every round. This should allow me to clear 2 or 3 floors. I repeat the same process for the third day which usually allows me to clear one floor on hard mode after which I wait for the next day. Since now I know hard mode is almost impossible to clear at this point, I'll try to maximize my jewelry box income by clearing normal mode on the fourth and maybe even the fifth day. After I realize normal mode has become impossible, I'll switch to easy for the last few days. This strategy maximizes the number of jewelry boxes I get by ensuring that the lowest level enemies give me the most jewelry boxes since I beat them on hard mode, while it also ensures that the more difficult enemies also give me at least some jewelry boxes. 
You don't need to use buffs for this strategy as they won't really help increase the jewelry boxes you get from the slammer by a lot. However, if you still want to use buffs, I'd suggest using them anywhere between day 3 to day 7 or during all of those days if you can. Also, whenever you use attack, defense, and march buffs, you'd also want to make use of the continue feature which costs 1000 gold at the slammer whenever you lose a battle. It'll instantly heal all of your troops and you'll be able to continue from the last floor you entered with a full march. So those are all the tips I have for the slammer. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thanks for watching the video guys and I will see y'all in the next one.